care too much about what others think? Do I care too much about what others think? This topic has been on my mind for a while, so I'm happy to finally make a video about it, to shed some insight on people like even myself who worry about this fear, this deeply seated fear of caring too much about what others think. Now anyone who watches my channel knows I'm fucking obsessed with the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And the reason I mention this book is that it has changed the way I look at this whole subject. Especially what, 70, 80 years after it was published? A lot of things in the book seem to become more true. Some other ones, maybe not. In fact, two of these things have grown to contradict each other to the point at which probably my greatest flaw, if you're watching this, it may also be yours. Worrying about what others think, maybe because of the fear of criticism, it's actually becoming a good thing? In the book, it is said that there are six basic fears. Six things that scare people in ways so subtle that people go often their whole lives without realizing that the fears are holding them back from what they want most. And does that not sound like a fucking huge problem? To me, it always did. Anything you're scared of, anything, can be classified under one or more of these fears. One of them is the fear of criticism. What contradicts this fear has a lot to do nowadays with business, but it can be applied to so many other things. I originally started doing this with business. Why I haven't made stupid fucking amounts of money doing it, I'll get to in a few minutes. And then I started doing it around family, love life, coworkers workers, friends, anyone I interact with. And I can now wholeheartedly say I will never look at life and people the same way. And I mean that all in the best way possible. All because I'm scared of being criticized. So if I were you and I'm like, Sam, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Money is not all that matters. I'm not worried about that shit. I'm just worried about what others think of me. I would think the further we get into this video, how can I apply this to my life in ways that have nothing to, in ways that are not business related? Because this can apply to anything. And I wanted to get that out of the way first, but okay, I have a video about the three signs you may be a workaholic. I'll link it in the description for anyone who wants to check it out. And in that video, I say that anything society sees as a weakness is really just a strength in disguise. Could your fear of criticism be holding you back? What if it's actually an incredible tool you can easily channel and redirect for your own benefit? Yours and the people who are criticizing you. Does that sound too good to be true? Well, Check this out. A long time ago, people in any job or career field, from bankers to bus drivers, could literally afford to be dickheads to people. They could get away with this. But because of things like the Great Depression, a universal sort of law has consistently implied that for reasons almost unknown, to me at least, you cannot get without giving. The rapid change this world has undergone since then has resulted in a global economy where the person or company who is willing to give the most is the person person or company who is going to inevitably get the most. The person or company most focused on the quality of the customer experience is the person or company who will be rewarded the most by said customer, who are experiencing that. The most value possible needs to be offered, packaged, and delivered at the fastest possible, like everything that matters most, and more needs to be brought to the highest speed, best quality, lowest price, everything, and beyond. How does this tie into the fear of criticism? Well, what really solidifies this experience is to have it become a collective one. The more people you offer this type of value to, the better. It's like you gather these people around your vision, your service, that thing you offer, but think about it. Because the likelihood of this happening is stupid high. What if one of them dislikes something? about your system? What if they say, this needs work, or this is stupid? This is where your weakness can be used as a strength. It took me years to learn to suck up what people say, face it squarely, and learn to get everyone to put our focus on, okay, if it sucks, what could be different? How can we fix it? How can we change it for the better? Focus on the solution and not the problem. It's still not that easy all the time. I get that, but if you care enough about what it is that you're doing, whatever matters more to you that you want more of, it matters, right? You want more of it, right? And I never mean to ask questions like this to be condescending or anything, but it's like if you're looking to get more and you watch my videos and I'm not gonna ask them who is because maybe they can help too. <laughs> now, I know I talk about Apple and Amazon all the time, but that's because relentlessly taking relentless amounts of a relentless variety of feedback on their products and services, relentlessly and relentlessly acting on it is what probably got them where they are. It's this collective, this tribe of people who are like, hey, 
They messed up here and here and we told them about it But when we told them about it, they fixed it and that says that you give a shit You give a shit about being of value to them and serving them What kind of person wants to feel like their opinion doesn't matter? You know when people judge you or criticize you or anything they want to know whether their opinion matters. But if it matters in a positive way to you, there has to be some sort of a middle ground you can both come to. Any objections people may or may not have to that, I'll get to later in the video, but my point is that caring too much about what people think in this day and age is a wonderful problem to have. Think of it. It's something you have the option to get rewarded for doing. It's better than caring too little about what others think, so much that you never get anywhere because you only care about giving Giving what you want to give, not what they want to get. Speaking of which, I do believe in the boundaries of this. If you bend too much, you may break. And the bigger you are, the deeper you go, the more you risk by doing this. A rule I like to go by is what Jeff Bezos says, the Amazon founder, the placeholder on number five of the Forbes world's most powerful people list of 2018 or 2019, I don't remember which, at the making of this video. When someone criticizes you, look at yourself and ask if they're right. And if they are, Change it. What do you guys have to say about me? Do I care too much? Do you care too much about what others think? Are they right? Would you change it? Or are you being yourself and fucking proud of it? I hope you're doing your thing. If not, well, I hope you start to. But let me know if you guys have any other ideas you want me to talk about in future videos, and I'll give you a shout out if and when I use them. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. There are links at the bottom of the description of all my social media. Also at the bottom of the description, there are links to my new production kits where you can find all the hardware and software that I use to make music and these videos. If you buy any, I get commission, which helps me build this channel and keep making these videos for you guys. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. If you could turn on that little bell to receive a notification every time I drop a new video, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find me everywhere, and I will see you then.